Hey, my YouTube babe. This is your girl, Brita, aka. Sorry. AKA Dallas Benny Crow. And you are watching Cooking with Brika, AKA <laughs> my weight loss journey, lap band journey, whatever blood that. Now, I know you guys are wondering, where, where, where have I been? I was gonna do this blog every week or every other week or every month. But, um, and that was my plan, you know. I was started to lose the weight before my honeymoon. And y'all knew before baby making honeymoon. And we were going to try to have a baby and blah, blah, blah. But I swear, when you plan stuff, I swear, God will show you <laughs> a different path. So this is what had happened. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, but you guys, I thought I had an allergic reaction. I end up breaking up, breaking in hives, and this was on, it started April 6th, my face got real irritated and dry, and I thought it was just my allergies acting up, this Texas weather, y'all know it's stupid, it was hot, the next day it was freezing cold. I'm just thinking my skin, because my skin is very sensitive. I'm thinking that's what had happened. Turn the next day, my skin. Okay, that's what six, and we're gonna fast forward to um that Monday. I can't remember what day I went to the doctor. I believe it was on a Monday. Can't remember the date. So I went to the doctor. They gave me a steroid shot in my bottom. Um, Cause they thought I had allergic reaction. My whole face broke out in hives. My whole body broke out in hives. Um, so I never had it that bad. So they gave me a steroid shot, put me on prednisone. They said I had a food allergy. I knew in my mind, I knew I didn't have a food allergy. Cause I, didn't, I wasn't eating anything different but those meals. And those meals, even though they were special meals, it's still the type of food I eat every day. My parents, they told me to stop ordering these meals. It's not the meals. I didn't have an allergic reaction to no food. <laughs> uh, but I was like, it's something I got into. But, you know, I took the steroid shot, and I'm not getting better. I'm getting worse. So, that night, I felt like my throat was closing in. Went to the emergency room. Didn't want to go to this emergency room because it's a small hospital. Um, I'm not gonna say which hospital, but it was a. There's many. Like at one o'clock in the morning, when my husband got off work, I was only there maybe an hour. My throat was not closed in because, not thinking at the time, when you have allergic reaction, your throat starts closing in as soon as it happens. So. They sent me home. They pretty much gave me the same thing my doctor gave me. They around five o'clock in the morning. I woke up and I, my body, my body was aching. My body started aching. And I, I know around seven o'clock in the morning. And I, at the same time, I'm emailing my doctor saying, "Hey, the symptoms didn't get any better. I went to the ER. I don't know what's happening. And f for me not to pay no high ER bill, I went on and made me an appointment to see my doctor that morning." And so I start telling her my body is aching. Come seven o'clock in the morning, I cannot walk. I cannot lift myself up. My body is hurting. It is I am aching. I've never had a, a flu where I was having aches and pains. I'm like, do I have a flu? I don't know what's going on. All I know is my husband had to carry me to the bathroom. This was, I believe, April the 10th. He had to carry me to the bathroom and carry me back in bed. And I'm in excruciating pain all over my body. Oh, I'm trying not to cry. Okay? Let it be known that following week, I just booked our honeymoon. You know, we was going to start planning to have a baby. Y'all already knew that. I'm trying not to cry. So, um, 
I'm gonna say April the, I believe that was April the 10th. He, my husband, had to carry me. I was able to stand up, but he had to carry me. And we live on the third floor, as y'all can tell. Third floor. He pretty much was holding me down the stairs to get me to the doctor. Now my doctor's office is down the street from my house. It's like six minutes from my house. I left, put my phone in the bag, and I, I once I got to the office, I heard my phone ringing. I knew it was a doctor's office, but I couldn't get to my phone because at this point, I was able to, as I hold on to rails, I was able to walk to my um. I was able to just walk through the doors and sit down while my husband found the parking spot because there was no close parking spot. So once he parked the car in, and he helped me walk to the elevator to get up to the third floor where my doctor's was. And it was my doctor's office leaving me a message telling me to go to the emergency room. I just came from the emergency room. They didn't do nothing. So I went to see her. And by this time, once I got in the chair, I could not. I could not get back up. I couldn't walk. My face, it was swollen. My throat, I couldn't talk because my throat was swollen. I couldn't take any medicine. And um, I went to... They had to get a wheelchair to send me back to the doctor's office. So they got the wheelchair and I seen the doctor for a brief second. She's already calling the emergency room so I can be a direct admit to get to the hospital. So as I go to the hospital, um, the nurse and the MA, they took me to the hospital. Like I said, to make a long story short, I went to the ER again. Um, they thought I had mumps, because my throat was so swollen that you could see my lymph, all this was swollen. And like I said, when I was at this particular hospital, which I did not want to go to, I hated every moment of it. I, I just know I didn't want to be at this hospital. I'm not going to tell y'all why, because I don't want to get people in trouble. Um, I was in the, in the ER. They think I have mumps. Maybe three hours later, the doctor's asking me, do I want to go home? I'm like, no, I don't want to go home. I still can't walk. I still can't walk. The, the fuck? I, I can't walk. Why are you sending me to the asking me do I want to go home? I'm in a lot of I'm still in pain and I can't walk and my throat is swollen. Y'all still don't know why. Excuse me. So I was like, okay, we're gonna admit you. Okay. I get to the room. I don't know why, but when I got to that room, my whole body my whole body was I was in so much pain my joints were hurting everything was hurting I had joint pain my legs were hurting my arms were hurting from what I remember like everything Everything was hurting once I got to that room. And the nurses, they gave me morphine. I hate that fucking medicine because I feel like I'm fucking flying. Um, that didn't work. Now, remember, you guys, while I was in the hospital, I'm going to say the two weeks I was at, I'm going to call Hospital C. I don't remember a lot. I can only tell you what my family members told me. The little bits and pieces that I do remember, I can't remember. Now, from what my sister's saying, to make a long story short, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. All I know is I was in so much pain. I could not go to the bathroom. I could not feed myself. I was hurting so bad, I couldn't give myself a spoon full of soup. Because they had me on liquid diet, you know the bra? I couldn't even hold a straw. That's how much pain I was in. I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself. I couldn't clean myself. My sister had to bathe me. My husband had to bathe me. My mom had to bathe me. My best. Camera went off. Overheated. So, 
like I said, I couldn't do anything by myself because of the pain I was in. I was so weak. Next thing I know, I end up, so much stuff happened to me. They they thought, they were asking me questions. My sister questioned, is her husband beating her? Do I have any scars on this face? I wish a motherfucker would put their hands on me. Get your life. <laughs> I had to take an HIV test because I, I guess I had the signs of HIV. I had to take, they thought I had leukemia. They thought I had a blood disease. They could not figure out what was wrong with me. Every time, you, and then I kept running these high fevers. I was 101, 102, 100 point something. I was so hot, my sister would just put her hands on me like this and could feel how hot I was. I couldn't take any medication because my throat was so swollen. Um, fast forward to, I end up having pneumonia. I end up having pulmonary edema. I had fluid all in my lungs. They had to put me on Lasix and I'm on Lasix and I can't walk. I'm using a bedpan because the staff at that hospital C would not help my sister get me up to the bathroom. So I was using a bedpan. Let it be known I work in the hospital. My sister works in the hospital. My mother works in the hospital. All of us work in the hospital. So we know how you're supposed to be taken care of in the hospital. They didn't, they didn't want help. They suck. And my sister, my sister has lupus. She was like, they thought I had lupus because my sister was asking me all the symptoms. All the symptoms that I was having take away the hives. I kept getting those hives all over me. I kept getting the hives back. They'll leave and they'll come back. I kept running a fever. My sister don't have no symptoms, but when it came to the pain, my sister was like, I think she has lupus. Can y'all test her for lupus? Can y'all do that? Next thing I know, I took some medicine. Protonics, I'm allergic. It messed up. It, I ended up going in renal failure. <laughs> I had to get a kidney biopsy because it messed up my kidneys. I'm on my kidneys are okay right now. My everything is normal. I end up getting thrush in my mouth multiple times in my mouth. Ugh. Now, like I said, I don't remember a lot. I just remember the times I do remember. I had a bad experience at hospital C, and from what my sister was telling me. They, could, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Last thing I remember, they took my husband, they took him out of the room and told him that I'm going to another hospital. We're going to call that Hospital D. I will, so I went to Hospital D. I was there for two weeks. It took them that long. The first thing they told me that I had once I went to Hospital T, D, they said, I, we think you have adults onset adult still disease but we have to rule out another we have to rule out other things because my blood work my blood work kept coming back bad they end up thinking I had HLH I'll put it up here somewhere where what we um what we thought it was what they thought it was because I kept my blood work was bad so I had to do a bone marrow biopsy for them to rule out this blood disease that that shit hurt like hell so I did the bone marrow biopsy I actually have a crush on my doctor who did the bone marrow biopsy He's my hematologist. I have a crush on him. I do. He is so cute. I told my husband that I have a crush on him. Just some some white chocolate. Just fun. Just fun. Eye candy. I had a crush on him. Maybe that's why it was easier for me to do the biopsy. But they did give me medication. But the whole two weeks I was at Bumpsy, they were just ruling out other things. But they, they knew... But they had to rule out all the stuff that I had adult stills disease. Please Google it. So once I did the bone marrow biopsy, that took about three days. And we did it on the end of the week. So I was there five days just to rule out this other disease. Turns out I have stills disease. Adult stills disease, which is... Let me tell y'all how special your girl is. I get the one disease that's very rare... 
and one, not even one, but one out of a hundred thousand people gets this disease. Most of the time is misdiagnosed because no one knows what the it is, and it's so annoying when people don't know what it is. So it was a month that I was in the hospital. The whole month of April, I was in the hospital, bed bound, very weak, in excruciating pain. Thank God, like I said, I'll go into more detailed video about this disease and my whole experience when I was diagnosed. So, I was in the hospital for a month. Then I had to go to a rehab hospital because I had to learn how to, not learn how to walk again, but get the strength to walk again. And I, I was in so much pain. I passed. I was in so much pain. I would pass out because of this disease. But it's an autoimmune disease, and I'm on killer steroids. That is why my face is huge. All the weight that I lost, I have gained. The lowest number I've seen was 175. Between 173 and 175, but we're going to say 175. Now I'm 191, and it sucks. I had to cancel my honeymoon, which is next month, August the 12th. We redid it for January. Um, I'm doing a lot better. I still have, like, last, like, I, I, I'm good now. But, like, last week for three days, I couldn't walk. Cause my my knees were so messed up. What it is bugs with the steel disease? It's pretty much you have arthritis, really bad arthritis and other things. But the pain I'm feeling is cause I'm, I'm I got I got the arthritis, really bad. So I get joint pain, which comes with also the medicine. I'm taking the side effects with the medicine. It's a hot ass mess. I I I, I hate my life. I don't hate my life, y'all. It's a figure, figure of speech, but that is where I've been, y'all. I've been in the hospital, in and out of the hospital. Um, uh, it's messing with my blood. I'm anemic. I have to get iron transfusions. I'm not going to say it's because of my band. Oh, if y'all want to know about my band, they completely unfilled it when I was at Hospital C. I need to go get that checked because I am having pain in my stomach. I am on a lot of medication. I'm on a medication that they give the cancer patients. My hair could come out. But it's not. I'm going I'm to take my, my folic acid. But that's where I've been. I can't really kick up the weight loss journey again because I'm still weak. I fatigue. Oh my God. I get so tired. Like my hands and stuff are hurting now, but it's a pain that I'm used to. Um, I'm always in pain. It's a matter of getting through it. Um, I could look like this. And you might think nothing's wrong with me, but I am in so much pain. I take, I, I'm trying, I gotta get back to work. <laughs> I have not been in work since March. So, no, it was the first week of April, last time I was at work. So, that's where I've been. Um, like I said, I can't go to the gym, I can't work out, cause I'm, 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 I'm just now able to get up, up and down the stairs. My husband has to have to carry me. So, Roxy, Roxy wants to say hi. Say hi, Roxy. But, y'all, that's what I've been. I've been in and out of the hospital. So I haven't been able to vlog. And I don't like the way I'm looking. Because I hate steroids. They blow you up in the medicine that I'm on. Gaining the side effect, gaining weight. So, yeah. But I will be giving you guys more updates on me. Bye-bye. And pray for me. Like I said, I'm doing a lot better. It's more, I'm really, it's emotional right now because the medication that I'm on, I can't have a baby. So.
that's that's getting to me because you know, all like y'all know that's all I wanted. So I'm a little sad over there, but hopefully I can get on another medication. Like I said, I'll be in more depth with that later on. Bye, my YouTube baby.